Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of class 11 practical session. Today we will do an experiment to find the coefficient of limiting friction between two surfaces. I recommend you to check our previous videos for your better understanding. You can check some Viva Voice questions on www.labcafe.com/blog. You can also find the manual for the same experiment. The aim of the experiment is to study the relationship between force of limiting friction and normal reaction and to find the coefficient of friction between a block and a horizontal surface. Apparatus required. A horizontal plane fitted with a frictionless pulley at one end with a pan, a wooden block with hook, a spring balance, a weight box with several 50 grams weights, cotton thread, graph paper, pencil and a ruler. When a body B is rest on a solid surface, it extracts a force W vertically downwards on it. By Newton's third law, the surface extracts an equal force R on B vertically upward direction. At this moment, we say that the body is at equilibrium under the action of two equal and opposite forces R and W. There is no tendency of any motion or there is no friction if a small force p being act on b a tendency of motion relative to the surface develops in it immediately a force fs develops along the surface of contact opposing the tendency of relative motion this is called force of friction or simply friction fs increases from zero and become equal to applied force p but never exceeds it If Fs is equal to P there is no motion therefore Fs can hold the body B to its static condition hence Fs is called static friction since static friction can increase up to a maximum upper limit we call it static limiting friction the static limiting friction Fs does not depend on the area of contact of the body with the surface it depends on surface condition and properties of materials in contact therefore f is directly proportional to the normal reaction of the surface r which is given by the total weight w of the body the line of action is same for both w and r for horizontal surface therefore fs is proportional to r or fs equals to mu s r therefore mu s equals to fs by r where mu s is called coefficient of limiting friction first we will find the list count of the spring balance now before we calculate the list count we will check if there is any zero error in the spring balance or not as we can see the indicator and the zero mark of the gram scale are not coinciding on each other which means there is a zero error to correct the zero error we have to adjust the nut on top of the spring balance I will adjust this nut until the indicator falls on the zero mark on the scale. Now as we can see that the indicator and the zero line are overlapping. Therefore, our spring balance has no zero error. As I can see that from 0 to 25 grams there are five divisions which means each of the divisions are equivalent to 5 grams and that is our list count after the list count is calculated i will measure the weight of the pan and the weight of the wooden block first i will hang the pan including the threads on the hook of the spring balance i can see that the weight of the pan is 30 grams After that I will hang the wooden block As I can see that the weight of the wooden block is 105 grams Let's go ahead and perform the experiment First I place the apparatus on the horizontal table then check the pulley if it is frictionless if not put some oil then take the thread fixed with the pan 
and tie it with the hook of the wooden block. Then place the thread over the pulley and hang the pan. Place the wooden block on the friction apparatus at say 35 cm marked on the scale. Make sure that the pan is stable and not touching the table. This is our initial position. Now I will add some weights one by one and each time tap the table gently to observe if the block is just moving or not. As we can see, no movements for 10 gram weight. Now adding 2 more grams and tap the table. Still no movement. Adding 2 more grams and tapping. Still no movement. Now I will take back both 2 grams weight and add 5 grams and tapping. The wooden block has just moved. Because of the ununiform surface, the movement has stopped after it was started. That's okay. So we have added 15 grams which has moved the wooden block. That is our first set of data. We will repeat the same procedure by adding 50 grams weight on the wooden block. So. I will place the wooden block back on the same place which is at 35 cm. Then put a 50 gram weight on top of the block. After that I am loading 20 grams and tapping. No movement is observed. I am adding 10 more grams and tapping. It is still not moving. I am adding another 5 grams and tapping. Still no movement. Then again I am adding 2 more grams and tapping. Yes, it has moved quite smoothly. So the total weight is 20 plus 10 plus 5 plus 2 grams which is 37 grams. Similarly I will take two more sets of data by adding 100 gram and 150 gram of weights on the block. Observations The least count of the spring balance is 5 grams. The mass of the wooden block M0 is 105 grams. The mass of the pen M equals to 30 grams. The value of coefficient of limiting friction mu s between the surface of wooden box and the surface from the table is 0 0.428. After taking the reading from the experiment, I have plotted a graph between normal force R versus limiting force mu s. On the y axis, it is limiting force, and on the x axis, it is normal force. The scale factor along x axis is 10 division equals to 50 grams, so 1 division equals to 5 gram, and along y axis 10 division equals to 20 gram, so 1 division equals to 2 gram. The graph shows a straight line passing through the origin. The slope of the graph will give us the coefficient of limiting friction between the wooden block and the wooden surface. To find the slope, I have taken any two points A and B on the straight line. Then I have drawn a straight line BZ parallel to Y axis and AZ parallel to X axis. They intersect at point Z. This is the slope. The ratio of BZ and AZ is the slope of the graph. From the graph, 
B is at 106 and Z is at 30 on the y axis. 106 minus 30 equals to 76. Therefore, BZ is 76. Similarly, A is at 70 and Z is at 250 on x axis. So, 250 minus 70 equals to 180. Hence, the slope of the graph is BZ by AZ equals to 70 by 180, which is equals to 0 0.422. From the graph, the coefficient of limiting friction mu s equals to 0 0.422. From the experiment, mu s equals to 0 0.428. Therefore, the percentage of error equals to 0 0.428 minus 0 0.422 divided by 0 0.428, which is 0.6%. It is clearly observed that the graphical result and the experiment's results are nearly the same. Precautions The pulley should be frictionless, the table should be horizontal, the thread should not touch the friction apparatus or the table, the surface of the friction apparatus should be cleaned, weights should be placed on the pan gently and in small steps, and in each steps it should be tested whether the wooden block is just moving by gently tapping. So, these are the step-by-step -step procedure to perform the coefficient of limiting friction experiment. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends. Feel free to comment in the comment section and subscribe our channel for future videos. We will see you in the next video.